seems like the Rav is investing in building the workshops, he's running ahead, and it feels like we're falling behind. Why, why uh, behind, uh, falling behind? You repeat uh, once, uh, every workshop at least once? Who, who, who does it, without lying? It's very bad, very bad. What can we say about people who are even on the outside? That's not good. These workshops, uh, there, there's no, you, you don't really repeat them. You need to listen to them repeatedly. I'm not saying you should sit together in, in the workshop, 10 people, but to listen to the process of the workshop. And when you listen, you're included in that state. Just like when you sat together with the friends and that state is awakened in you. That's it. So just simply take that. You have to take it and do it. That's it. We're going to conclude. And we'll prepare ourselves to tomorrow's workshop. How do I leave the lesson and the workshop and this building? drive, go, I'm at work, and I don't move away from the workshop. How do I keep the workshop? How do I make it my constant inner state? Then I'm constantly speaking with the friends. I feel them in the ten, that I live them. I'm with them together all the time, in every state, in any place I am. I'm constantly feeling their presence. And especially when I come out of the lesson and I just keep all of this in me. All of this atmosphere remains in me, please. Where is the place of the covenant, Avut, mutual help? Let's um, strengthen each other, agree on something between us, please. Otherwise, the other two, all the 24 hours, except for the hour of the workshop, they're not beneficial. They don't bring any benefits, please. How to not come out of this connection between us called a workshop.